Hello everyone, this is here at Linea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the 3DS. Previously, we explored the new town of La Bravoure, and promoted the Haven to level 2. Now in La Bravoure, we're looking for a man named Honoré. So, let's find Honoré. According to his maid, he should be in the pub. Bust those barrels. Écoute, Honoré. Listen. Set heavy dance that this hero will not awaken because we have no need of him. It is obvious, no? The world is at peace. No, no, no. You are completely my mistaken. Completely. The Almighty was concerned for our future. He was worried that he was worried that the Demon King would one day return and control the world. That is why he sealed away this hero. He wished to give us some hope, some assurance, some light in the darkness. Do you see what this means? We will never have true peace until we, have until we have awoken the hero, for only then will the Demon King be vanquished. No, that is not the way it is. Le monde est en paix. The world is at peace right now. Why not leave it this way, huh? C'est absurd. You are talking nonsense. Everyone in La Bravoure thinks the same. You can try to force that magic carpet on me as much as you like, but I refuse to search for this stupid hero of yours. Bof. Sorry, Honoré. This world might seem peaceful, but scratch the surface, and you, see, and you see that's not necessarily the case. Indeed, Maribel. Why did that man with the harp go off in a huff? of saviors and serenity. In La Bravoure's local pub, the party find a man called Honoré holding court with great passion about a hero sealed away somewhere by the Almighty. He seems utterly convinced that waking this hero from his slumber is the only way to bring peace to the world. I do not understand Honoré. Why is he so obsessed with our ancestors? The olden days may have been bad, mais tout va bien maintenant. All is well now. We have nothing to worry about. I beg to differ, good sir. Alors, if Honoré really wishes to search for this hero, he should go and do it himself. Sans père est mort. His father is gone, and now no one will stand in his way. So let's go find that honoré. Maybe in this house? Monsieur Honoré is sitting over there, looking very moody and intense. There have been so few visitors to La Bravoure in recent times. Perhaps this is why he is suffering with such terrible ennui. Hello, Mr. Honoré. Degage, stop bothering me. Can you not see that I am busy pondering the revival of an ancient hero? Attendez une minute. One moment. You are adventurers, oui? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, hey. I knew it. Bon, I can see that you, I can see that you are the real thing. And so, j'ai une requête. I have a request for you. But first, you must follow me. 
Suivez-moi. Allez. So time to follow him, huh? Odd. That man just won't keep still. If he's got a request for us, he should tell us what it is before he goes running off. Come on, Davlos. Let's follow him. Wanted, experienced adventurers. Honoré is absolutely obsessed with the legendary hero and has been waiting eager and has been waiting eagerly for an experienced adventurer such as Davlos to turn up. In fact, it seems he has a favor to ask. The party agree to go along with him and find out what it might be. Quoi? Monsieur Henri has asked you to follow him? Oh la la! Encore? Again? It is the same melody every time. This has happened before, has it? Come on! Allez! Allez! You must follow me! Very well, Monsieur Honoré. Down the secret stairway. He's opening up the store. A storeroom. If you have come all the way to La Bravoure, it can be for only one thing, to learn of the hero of legend. It is certain that you have heard something on your travels of the Savior who was sealed away in a place of safety by the Almighty. This all happened just before the Almighty was defeated by the Demon King. He used all his remaining powers to preserve the world's mightiest hero. The Almighty knew that when he was gone, only this man could stand in the way of true evil should it one day return. The future of our world was entrusted to him, and now he is out there somewhere, waiting patiently to be revived. Some say that we have no need some say that we need no heroes in a time of peace such as this, but this is une erreur fatale, a grave mistake. As a descendant of the Order, the chosen heroes of the Almighty, it is my duty to see that this man is revived before it is too late for us. Now, I have a request for you. I wish you to use a certain special possession of mine to, to search for the legendary hero and restore him to the world. With this magic carpet, there will be no limits to your search. Will you do this for me, mes amis? Most certainly. Merci beaucoup, et voilà, for you. Monsieur Honoré, arrêtez-vous. Stop this instant. Oh, his maid. Mais pourquoi? Pourquoi? Why must you give away this precious family heirloom to perfect strangers? Because, Corlette, these courageous adventurers have promised to find the hero of Legend. Encore? Again? It is always the same, Monsieur Honoré. You always have these eye hopes, but it never works out. Silence! I have heard enough from you. J'ai confiance on these people. Complete confidence. This time there will be no interruptions. Here, take the carpet. It is yours. Very well, Honoré. Davlos takes the magic carpet. Do not let me down. Find the hero and revive him. Very well, Monsieur Honoré. So now we have the magic carpet. So this magic carpet is Honoré's most precious family heirloom. To be entrusted with such a prized possession is a real Honoré, don't you think? Tee hee! I get it. Yes, we've got the magic carpet. Come on, Davlos, let's go and try it out. So we now have the flying carpet. A magic carpet that soars through the air. In theory, anyway. Hmm. You can't unroll the flying carpet here. Seven treasures. That's more like it.
One of them is a mini medal. And we're up to 32. A diamond. Diamond can bear the brunt of a deadly blow, saving the owner's life. Empty chest. Holy water. Holy water. This wondrous water wards off weaker enemies for a wee while. And a couple more chests. Aha, uh -huh, a heal slime heart. Medicinal herb. Some decent stuff. A miraculous mat. Honoré's favor is the small matter of restoring the legendary hero, who was sealed away by the Almighty before his defeat by the Demon King. It seems that Honoré is a descendant of the Holy Order of the Almighty, and will do whatever it takes to bring the hero back. To this end, he gives the friends a flying carpet. There's not enough space to unroll it in the village, so the gang go outside to give it a try. Yes, indeed. Come on, Davalos, let's get out of this village and try the magic carpet. We'll go somewhere where there aren't so many things to crash into. Last one on the flying carpet's a rotten egg. Marvelous. Huh? Mais pourquoi? Why have you not yet attempted to use the magic carpet? You should not waste time speaking to me. You should leave this village and take to the skies. Honoré's right, Davalos. Let's go outside the village and fly, fly away. It appears that you have not yet attempted to fly with the magic carpet. Let me say one thing, s'il vous plaît. Whatever happens, do not blame Monsieur Honoré. Il n'est pas méchant. He is not a bad person. Is it just me, or did, the, or did that maid seem like she was hiding something? Could be. Hurry up, Davalos. Roll out the carpet, and let's see if it works. I've always wondered what it feels like to fly. Now we're going to find out. We'll see. So we'll now use the flying carpet. Davalos unrolls the flying carpet. But it won't get off the ground. Oh my! A fake flying carpet. Our heroes unroll the flying carpet and climb aboard, but it flat out refuses to get off the ground. Is it possible that Honoré could have taken the friends for a ride instead? Well, he didn't take any money. Grr, that stupid Honoré. Come on, Davalos, stop staring into space and go and give him a piece of your mind. Hmm, I wonder why the carpet didn't fly. Maybe we should go and ask Honoré what we did wrong. Trusting Ruff. Gah, this is so annoying. That stupid Honoré tricked us. He made us look like complete idiots. I tell you, when I get my hands on him, I'll... Grrr. Come on, let's go and give him a piece of our minds. Come on, Davalos. Let's go and give that rotten trickster a piece of our minds. Was Honoré really trying to trick us? Why would he do that? 
Why, indeed. If you were a con man, you would have taken money, or something of value. Ah, I can tell that you have tried to find us, Pa. You must be very angry. This is natural. But please, do not take it out on Honoré. That is all I ask. It's not as if I was going to suddenly start hitting him or anything. I'd wait to see if he... I'd wait to see if he groveled enough first. Ah, oh, Maribel. I'm not going to shout at Honoré. I'm sure he didn't mean to trick us. Oh, Honoré. Ah, there you are. So, did you manage to soar through the sky on the magic carpet? No, sir. So you too could not fly? Hey, lass. Well, then I suppose there is no point in you keeping the carpet. If you would be so kind. Very well. Davlos hands the magic carpet back to Honoré. Please believe me when I say that I never intended to trick you. This is no fake. Even though you could not fly on it, I assure you that this magic carpet is real. Oh, is it? What? Where's our apology? I'm not going to stay here and be laughed at. Get me out of this nasty little village this instant. Do you think that carpet is really magical? It sounded like Honoré didn't really believe it himself. Honoré's insistence. The party tell Honoré that they tried using the flying carpet without any luck, and he promptly takes it and he promptly takes it off them again. But he doesn't seem to have been trying to trick them. Indeed, he insists on singing its praises even as he walks off with it. If this continues much longer, surely even Honoré will start to suspect that something is not right. Mais pourquoi? Why? Why did the late père d'Honoré ask me to do such a thing? His own father. Hmm. That sounds a bit suspicious. Attendez, s'il vous plaît. Please wait. Do not be angry at Monsieur Honoré, I beg you. It was never his intention to fool you. So many times he has given the carpet to someone in good faith, only to be only to be accused of being a liar and a cheat when it failed to work. Ah, John ASA, I've had enough of this. I wish you would just forget all about this stupid hero. I imagine he will be brooding in the treasure house as usual. If I go, it will not help. He will just be angry at me. Will you will you go and check on him, then come and tell me how he is? C'est très, très grave. I am very concerned that he is falling into an even deeper state of ennui than usual. All right, Colette. Colette seemed really worried about Honoré. I hope he's okay. Gah, why are we the ones who have to go and check on him? Shouldn't his babe be doing that? Oh, forget it. Let's just get this over and done with, shall we? Colette call. Honoré's maid tells the party that her master has been that her master has been awfully unhappy recently, and asks them to go and check on him. Apparently, he's over in the village's treasure house. I would be so grateful if you could if you could check on Monsieur Honoré and tell me how he is. I imagine he is brooding in the treasure house. If I go, I'm afraid he will only be angry. Je vous remercie beaucoup. I thank you so much. Very well, Colette. So let's go back to the storehouse and talk to Honoré. Hey there, Honoré. 
Mais je ne comprends pas. I do not understand why they say it is a fake. And why can I not simply try it for myself and go to seek out the hero? Why did my father forbid me? Why did my father for why did my father forbid it? But he is dead now anyway. He cannot stop me any more. No one can stop me. Ah, it is no good. I made a promise to him. I cannot break it now. I cannot leave the village. Oh, sometimes I ate my father for making me promise such a thing. He knew I would obey him, as I always did. Hmm? What do you want? Surely you have no business with me anymore. Before you go, please let me say one thing. I had no intention of making fools of you. Petetra's a magic carpet just did not like you. Perhaps it chooses who may use it. Honoré honor bound. The party agree to help Colette and head for the treasure house, where they find Honoré on his own and on something of a mood. He wants to use the flying carpet to go in search of the legendary hero, but unfortunately, he's not allowed outside the village. Apparently, he promised his father that he would never leave La Bravoure and the Lurch. Well then, let's talk to Colette again. Ah bon? So Monsieur Honoré is still troubled by the promise he gave to his father? Well, I thank you for sharing this with me. Merci beaucoup. You are different from the other travelers who have come here. Vous êtes très gentil. You are very kind. I feel I can tell you la vérité, the truth. The carpet that Monsieur Honoré possesses is a fake. I have hidden the real one from him. This was ordered of me by the father of Monsieur Honoré. He told me to do it. I also thought it was a good plan, but en réalité, it has done much harm and caused Monsieur Honoré much pain. I feel now it is time that I share the truth with him and get him to give up his plans to find the hero. But if I give him the real carpet, I know he will never give up. I know he will never give up these dreams of his. Which is why I wish to give it. I wish to give it to you. But I will not give it to you for nothing. You must bring me an objet très spécial in exchange, the mermaid moon. Monsieur Honoré read about this very special treasure when he was a small child. He had a book about a city sunk deep in the ocean. In this city, there was a priceless jewel known as the mermaid moon. If you could prove to me that you were the kind of mighty adventurers who could find such wonders, well, then I would think you worthy of the search for the great hero and give you the magic carpet with which to carry it out. We don't have it yet. Very interesting. So we need to bring her the mermaid moon. Colette comes clean. Our heroes tell Colette about Honoré's woes, and in return, she reveals all about the flying carpet. The carpet Honoré owns is actually a fake, and his faithful maid has hidden the real one away, where he can't find it. Apparently, it was Honoré's father who forced her to replace the real rug, and now she is tortured by having to hide the truth. But she knows that if she confesses, he'll keep on trying to use the carpet to chase his dangerous dream. Colette tells the party that she'll give them the real carpet if they can prove their adventuring prowess by bringing her a treasure known as the Mermaid Moon. Apparently, it's somewhere in a city that's been dragged beneath the ocean wave. So she wants to test us, does she? All right then. All right then. She's on. We'll pass her test with flying colors. What? Honoré's carpet was a fake all along. Very well, Colette. You're on.
will find that mermaid moan. But it won't be for a while yet. Now back to Pilchard Bay to rest. Oh? Story locked for some reason. I wonder what this mermaid moon looks like. Well, if we ever happen to find ourselves in a city beneath the sea, let's keep our eyes peeled. Indeed. What's a mermaid moon, Davalos? Do you think it might be really, really big, like a real moon? Now then, back to Pilchard Bay. Unfortunately, we won't be getting that mermaid moon for quite a while. Time to rest up. And next time, we'll complete another tablet and go off to the next location. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.